And when you hear about these terror attacks on the news, this is what it actually looks like. Uh, my name is Noam Kampler, and uh, I'm here today to share with you some of my experiences as a sergeant major in the IDF. Uh, three years ago, I had a, just another night in the base sitting with a group of friends of mine when uh, suddenly our uh, officer, our commander, comes into the room and says, guys, we got 10 minutes to get ready, some intelligence of a terrorist that we need to stop. And the intelligence starts flowing in, the information uh, regarding about who is this terrorist, where are we going? And I suddenly realized that we're on the way to stop a terrorist that committed a horrible, terrible terror attack just the day before. And when you hear about these terror attacks on the news, this is what it actually looks like. A terrorist penetrates into the Jewish town, Otniel. He randomly picks a house, probably heard some children in the background, and he waits for 10 minutes outside of the house. The mother of this family, her name is Daphna Meir, a mother of six children, a nurse, a woman that devoted her life for helping others. She was painting her front door the same day. And when she went out to keep going and keep painting her door, he then pulled out his knife and started stabbing her while her children are in the house, just a few meters behind her. At some point, the knife was just stuck in her body. He couldn't pull it back out, so he decided to run away and she fell and bled to death. And we're about 10 minutes away from the target. We arrive at his home, we enter his bedroom. My friend and I were the first to get to his bed. And at that moment, I just couldn't believe it. This terrorist was only a 15 year old teenager, a child, the same age as my youngest sister at home that goes to school and plays with Barbies. And this child committed this horrible terror attack that I've just described a second ago. It was just unbelievable for me. I couldn't believe it. I remember just holding him and saying, I can't believe this, this kid stabbed to death, death cold-bloodedly, a woman, a mother, just a few hours ago. And on the way back to the base, I just couldn't stop asking myself, you know, how is this possible? This is the result of incitement and indoctrination that we can see in the Palestinian broadcast on television. You know, they have Mickey Mouse just like you and I had when growing up. Only Palestinian Mickey Mouse is teaching them how to stab and where exactly, and teaching little girls, you know, how to slaughter Israelis. This is real. I've seen it in my own eyes. And if you have two minutes of your time, when you <coughs> exit this room, just pull out your cell phones, go into YouTube and write Ch Palestinian children incitement. You'll see it for yourself. And I hope that, you know, if anyone here has any influence or something they can do about this, you know, giving hope, it's important that we can try to do something. Thank you for listening.